The SecureSphere ZOS agent sees the database activity as it's occurring in the application. We capture it in line, we match it against the monitoring criteria. If it matches, then we generate an audit event, which we send to the gateway for post-processing. First of all, we are built from the ground up to be an audit product, not a database performance product. What that means is that we are capturing information only important for audit and not capturing other information that might be of interest for a performance tool. That helps reduce our overhead and collection. We make extensive use of the ZIP processor, if you have it, to keep your, uh, your CPU costs down. We use intelligent filtering to only capture the events that you care about for audit. We never use DB2 iffy traces because of the high cost of using those. We also never read DB2 or IMS log data sets, again, for the high cost. Once we've collected the events, we send those events to the gateway and MX for processing off of the mainframe. We do everything we can to keep our CPU usage low so that you can keep your software costs as low as possible. So it's important to us that we help you keep your total cost of ownership low for our product. In order to do that, we make our product simple to install and easy to maintain. Part of the easy to maintain is the fact that we have a single product that monitors multiple databases and you don't have to now try and coordinate maintenance across different products or different agents. You can monitor all the databases on your system with a single agent. If you want to run multiple agents, we support that, but it's absolutely not required. In addition to that, we build our code to be highly reliable so that we don't cause you issues. So it's important when you're auditing privileged users to make sure that you have a separation of duties between the mainframe personnel and the security team. This protects the data and it also pro helps protect the reputations of the mainframe personnel. When we collect the data, it is immediately sent to the secure sphere gateway for processing. The policy that controls the selection comes from the Secure Sphere UI. So the mainframe personnel do not get to modify or control the policy. And the events that are collected never land in a data set on the mainframe. So you can rest assured that the information is accurate and has not been tampered with. 